What is Kirsia about? Um, you start. Uh, Kirsia is a uh, film about a uh, young textile student who decides to uh, make a shift in her life and uh, take on a ticket to go live in Kirsia. What were your influences in making this movie? We, I think we have a lot of them. Uh, I think uh, film-wise, we have references from Rosemary's Baby, um, The Village, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and what else? Yeah. Uh, Wicker Man. Yeah. A lot of uh, 80s films. Okay, so the movie was based on a play. Could you tell us about about the process of adapting it to a script and what inspired you to turn the story into a film? Uh, we had just finished producing another film and uh, we were talking among ourselves that yeah. it would be great to make a uh, film together and I uh, said that I really want to direct and out of the blue uh, make a yacht that was one of the producers and actors in this film uh, contacted us and introduced us to this amazing play. And uh, we read the play after our meeting and we were like, this is the sort of film that we would want to make. Uh, and I pretty much started to adapt the screenplay the next week and uh, then we were filming the film a year later. It happened pretty fast. Okay, this is your first feature film. What challenges did you face and was it easier to direct your actors, being an actor yourself and having worked with Vera before? Uh, to be honest, I think uh, when I decided to direct mm -hmm. in the first place, I thought that that would be one of the easiest tasks in directing something uh, on screen, but uh, what came as a revelation was that as a director you have to be considered about so many other things as well that you have to you have actually so limited time to put into the acting uh, versus what you have to put on the other stuff but I think that was one of the uh, benefits of being an actor myself that you know I could when I did have the 20% to put in the acting uh, with the actors, I did know what I wanted to pursue. And I think that's one of the best parts of our film, that we have a great cast. Without that cast, we would not have this sort of film uh, where we get to tell a story on so many levels. And yeah, th this is an actor's film in a way. And I think it's only because we have had so great variety of actors. Irina actually tries to escape her own life by going to Kirsia only to discover a whole new set of problems. Did you have this in mind as a metaphor, meaning that you can escape your problems one way or another while telling the story? I don't know, such a long question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think there there are lots of layers in the story, lots of metaphors in the story, and I think like Irina is a stereotypical uh, character from from this uh, period of life, this like generation. Here? Yeah, and I think I think like it's about uh, feeling connected to the nature. It's about Kind of like, how do you say? Kind of uh, refining, refining, or refining what you have lost in the system. Yeah, it's kind of like you're in this rat race, this modern rat race, where it's about like it's about work, it's about education, it's about how you fit in the society, and it's it's kind of like killing people. Yeah. And this escape, like. It's kind of like, although Kyrgyzha is uh, not the 
best place to go necessarily, but it's it's still like refreshing. It, it, in a way, it's the essence of a horror film where most of the horror films put you in a place where there's somebody slashing or cutting you yeah. and spilling blood. In Kurosawa, it's more about putting you in a place where you have to value what you're missing now, even though you went after for getting something that you're already missing. And that, that's the kind of struggle we're having in the United States and Europe and everywhere in the yeah. world now. That Very nice kind of finding yourself again in that place, although that place is not, it's, that place goes too far in some, yeah. in some things, but still. Lately, there have been more Finnish movies coming out. Is the horror genre popular among viewers in Finland? In Finland? No. <laughs> there are lots of horror fans in Finland, and I think that's connected to the heavy metal thing seen in Finland as well. I, I but, think we have the most heavy metal fans per capita in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it's uh, it's been uh, the Finnish film is like. The whole system supports drama and light comedy and that kind of easy film. And uh, the, art, the art foundations, they don't support horror films. It's, horror films is seen as a B film in Finland. And it's kind of now, it's kind of starting to, I think, uh, we've made three horror films in the last three years in Finland, and that's a lot. Now it's kind of starting to grow the whole horror scene yeah. in a way. Yeah. And, and it's also a, uh, as in the rest of the world, the horror cinema always kind of puts forward the rest of the cinema. And that that's a like, tool for us in Finland, kind of get it moving forward. And I, I think that's one of the best things that we can do to make people care about cinema again. And, yeah. Different kinds of cinema. Yeah. yeah. So you think there are potentials in development of this uh, genre? Yeah, there yes. definitely is. I mean, Finland is like, we have still so much deep forests and so much horror stories in our society that it, like there's potential like even if you think about places and people and like, there's so many good stories. We should make more of yeah, People always talk about like how comedy is important for people to get laughs out. Yeah. Cultural wise, but then I, I think horror has the same meaning. Exactly. Because you get to deal with the same aspects in a different way. And the sort of stuff you cannot put in a drama film, you get to kind of challenge yeah. in a horror film, and that's really important. I mean, yeah, horror happens every day in this yeah. world. That's just. And funny. if you're unable to put it out, like what? Yeah. Why to watch films? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Now, Vera, tell us a few things about your role. Uh, about your experiences. What's the most interesting experience? Probably for me, uh, as an actress, the whole filming thing was the the most like interesting experience. Uh, it was challenging. We were like living in the place. We we filmed the film in the same place we actually lived for four weeks. It was crazy. Uh, I think we filmed like 16 hours per day because in Finland you have, in the summertime, you have constant sun. sunlight. <laughs> you don't have dark hours in Finland in the summer. So we had the chance to film like through the whole day. So it was exhausting and uh, like we didn't have, we didn't have like showers or anything <laughs> for like three and a half weeks. We filmed in this very old location, and there was this very old sauna, and then uh, pond, and we actually washed ourselves in there. So as an actor, that was very kind of it was uh, it 
was challenging, but at the same time, it was really kind of cool. We lived, lived like yeah. hillbillies. <laughs> yeah, we actually lived like in the story, the people yeah. lived. So that gave so much when when I did the character. And yeah, later on, I actually we heard that, for example, the pool where we were swimming every day, that it's actually usually full of snakes and stuff. So, yeah. So, in the last few years, there has been a tendency of supporting decentralization and seeing isolated communities as an idolized place to live. That's how Irina uh, heads, out, heads out for the villas, and when she actually gets there at first, she seems to enjoy this lifestyle. How do you relate to this approach? Uh, I would relate it to very much. I mean, that's, that's kind of one of the main points of the story. Like, for example, me as a as an actress or as a human being, I actually in the end I started to feel more connected with the people in Kurusia than with my character. You know, I think like we talked about before, it's it's about escaping this modern rat race. It's a, like that's one of the main points of the film that it's it's the modern society rat race the healthiest way to live. Getting a chance to figure yourself out again. Yeah, I, I think in Kyrgyzstan, in although some things have gone too far in there, I, I feel like some some main things are more like, like healthier in there. You respect the nature, you respect the family. And kind of like they were in the past, if you yeah. could say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest challenge you faced in place? Irina? Uh, probably one of the things was that uh, with, with, like for all the other actors, it, it was easy for them to, they could play with kind of like, because they had to learn a new accent and they had to be these people from the past in a way, so they had actually the chance to find something new, whereas for for my character, it was unlike the stereotype from this modern society. So for me, it was hard to kind of find uh, things to play with in a way because it, it was so normal. And, and the other thing is probably the physicality. Like I have to run barefoot. Uh, for a month in Finnish forest, so that's not, that's painful. <laughs> and I had to uh, swim with the snakes and I had to, although it was summer, it was actually an ice cold summer, so I had to wear summer clothes, although it was like plus six degrees or something. So lots of physical challenges too. And, uh, uh, as a uh, pro, uh, co producer with her, I think. Uh, well, yeah. One of the main challenges might have been that we wanted to make a different sort of horror film. Yeah. And so, that, that was yeah. one of the main struggles because it's not only about like you're doing the scene this way and then blood spills and all that. We wanted to have a multi layer story and to kind of keep track on that. Yeah, was not to be important. this stereotypical lead character in a horror film in a way. It was extremely stupid and, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, also the fact that I, uh, we also produced the film, so we had 16 hour filming days, and after I being 16 hours on set in front of camera, after that I had to also do producer's work, so that was pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. You're also a producer in the film. Could you tell us about this aspect of your work in Kirsia? Yeah, like, yeah, this is a good follow-up question. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like uh, the whole film industry is changing a lot at the moment, and I just feel like if you, especially as a like actress, it's, if you want to make really good and multi-layer stories, you have to also, I feel easier to make your roles than I also produce, so I'm in charge of the whole thing. So, for me, it feels like the right right approach to also work behind the camera at the same time and be 
like do everything on your own. And I'm also a hustler, so I, I like doing stuff. I couldn't just be an actress who is in front of the camera and then stop doing things after it. But yeah, it's very time consuming. I mean, we like I just said, we filmed it 16 hours and then after that I had to do producer's work. So it was very long days and it, it's still it's still being long days after yeah. filming. Yeah. How do you feel uh, how do you feel about film festivals and why do you think they're necessary? Uh, they are the most necessary at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, especially during this sort of time where we have these huge players like Netflix and yeah. whatever you name those where they just make film, a video and sort of content, it's important to have film festivals to validate films and to show films for people who actually want to see films the way they are supposed to be shown. Uh, especially with our film because we wanted to make a classic horror film that you can see in a cinema sort of place. It, 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 we are so honored that we've been accepted to so many places with our film festival run and yeah, especially when like our budget is not because first uh, when you don't have uh, tons of money for for the marketing, it's easy to uh, to be validated with film festivals. And also, I feel film festivals are the real places for actual film lovers. That's yeah. the that's the greatest thing to actually go to a film festival and be with them. The uh, uh, experience the of being together yeah. and uh, uh, yeah. like there's no other option in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is this your first time in Greece? I've actually been once to Greece, but this is my first time in Athens. And I think Yeah, this is my first time in Greece and I, I was looking forward to it. I was so excited to come here because I've always wanted to come here and now yeah, I got the chance. In, in Finland, we study a lot about the, uh, in also our acting schools about the ancient Greece, yeah, ancient yeah. Greece and the tragedies and mythologies and all that sort of thing. For uh, uh, us, it's been a big yeah. deal to go to see the places where those stories got written yeah. and told and all that. Yeah. And what do you think of uh, the festival? I mean, the Friday nights in the Strom. To be honest, I'm a bit nervous because uh, you know you never know how a uh, audience reacts to the film. But so far, I'm really grateful about the whole whole uh, venture in a way. And, uh, yeah, and I, I think it's gonna be one of the biggest horror festivals in yeah. Europe and in the yeah. world too, because people are already talking about uh, it a lot. Yeah. Like we've heard. Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I hope you have uh, a nice trip and thank you for the interview. Thank you very thank much. You so much.